Hi, thank you for joining us. This is Jasmine from the Southfield Chamber of Commerce. I am the interim executive director here at our chamber, and I'm very excited to interview our special guest, Susan Sarkovsky. I said that right? Great job. You did. Okay, I passed the test with the last name. So Susan, you are from Davenport. We're very excited to sit down and talk with you. Go ahead and introduce yourself and share with us your connection with Davenport University. Well, thank you so much, Jasmine. As uh, you mentioned, I have uh, with Davenport University, have been with Davenport for over 30 years. Oh, but wow. before I start a little bit with my history, I just wanna say thank you so much for giving me this opportunity and, and partnering with us as a, as a university. We appreciate the partnership with the Southfield Chamber. Many okay. of our students come from the community as we also support businesses and individuals in, in our Detroit metro area. We have a campus in Detroit and Warren, so it is very close to Southfield. Very good. Well, we appreciate you all being a Southfield Chamber member. There's a misconception oftentimes that you have to, uh, that we only have Southfield businesses based in our chamber, but we have supporting areas that are part of our chamber too. And we're always excited to highlight not only our Southfield companies, but the surrounding businesses that want to be a part of our community. So certainly tell us what led you into getting into education. I know a little bit about your background, but I want our members to learn more about your personal story. Well, thank you for much, very much for giving me that opportunity to talk about my story uh, coming here as a young child from Macedonia, which is uh, it, from uh, north, north of Greece. And um, we came here as when I was nine. My parents really believed in providing a, an opportunity for us three children, uh, a brother and a sister. Both my parents, um, basically, one had fourth grade education, the other first grade education, and strongly believed in being able to provide opportunities for us. So when we came here, we already understood the fact that um, education was important. And that's been my driving force uh, as part of making my career in education. Um, along the way, we actually first came to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I tell everybody I'm married into Michigan, <laughs> where I met my <laughs> husband, and we moved over here. And uh, But during that journey, I had already started my career path in higher education. I started at the Institute of Computer Management. And then when I came to Michigan, started at Davenport University. Um, one of the things I'm really proud of, not only did I start my career at Davenport, I continued my education with Davenport. So ah. I look at myself and, as an example of at a product of what we do for students and giving opportunities for individuals and growth. Um, when I started at Davenport, I started in the financial aid area. Um, I thought that was really important for me just to make that con connection to ensure that students find the college opportunity uh, affordable. Uh, many students, yeah, at many students actually um, don't continue with their educational goals just because they can't afford it. So that was let's important. talk about let's talk about that with the continuing education piece. I know that we've discussed just resources that are available to uh, not only traditional students but non-traditional students or even small business owners that may be looking for additional resources, particularly during this time where they're wanting to uh, sharpen some of their skill sets or learn new skill sets. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, what resources may be available to small business owners at Davenport? Absolutely. First of all, we believe that small business is the backbone of our economy. They mm -hmm. need to be very healthy and we want to do everything to, to help to support small businesses. We have many partnerships with small businesses, whether they're not for profit or for profit. Uh, the first area, many of our businesses will sign up to be able to have access to our students, not only graduates, but our general student population to promote any kind of job openings. We have okay. a data system when our, the small business will actually input any kind of information as they're looking for, for employees. The other big piece that I think we can uh, help small businesses and we do, we have internships available. And mm -hmm. those internships could be paid or not paid where okay. it gives 
the small business an opportunity for an additional person to be working in their organization. And it gives our students that opportunity to get hands-on experience. Experiential learning is very big with us at Davenport. We promote that. We actually even have a what we call a class that's a capstone class, where okay. basically we work with small businesses where if, they're, if they find that they're struggling in a particular area, maybe they want to improve their technology or they are trying to determine if they should add on a different product, they will identify some of their needs. We take that information and we actually have a full semester class where we have an entire class that builds a, uh, a plan for, the, for that business oh, to wow. give ideas and analysis of where they could improve some of the, the strengths and weaknesses. So this information then is shared back with the businesses to help them um, in, in, improve in, the, in areas that would help their business overall. Well, that's great to know. I'm not sure that small business owners recognize the resources mm -hmm. at a university to really have a case study that can really solve solutions for some of the problems that they're encountering or ways that they want to streamline processes. So that's excellent information. And I'm happy that our small businesses will be able to tap into that resource at Davenport. I certainly look forward to strengthening a partnership with you all at the Southfield Chamber of Commerce. Um, we were very happy to, to connect and have a conversation about better ways, especially in this digital era, that we can stay connected and offer resources both virtually and hopefully soon in person for business owners and for some of our community partners. Um, is there anything else that you think that someone that has no information about Davenport should know? Well, Davenport University focuses in uh, business, technology, and health. We also have a strong program in urban education. Currently, our, our College of Health still has nursing seats available for any students that might be interested in starting the nursing program. The College of Urban Education, we have an accelerated program of a pathway for someone to get an interim teaching certificate. College of Technology, we have a grant with the US Department of Education that helps it, it, uh, direct students through a program to uh, immediate employment. And then College of Business, we have general programs in business and um, at the undergraduate and graduate level. The one thing that I really wanna to focus to, to mention as part of this is that we, we can start with individuals that may just want some classes. We do have stackable uh, certificates, what we call. So okay. in technology, you could take maybe four or five classes if you feel you have a need in order to improve your skills there, whether it's in technology, in business, in health. And those certificates all lead into associate and bachelor's degrees. So what we found with the small businesses, sometimes, you know, a business is open and the they have the, the basic information of how to run a business, but they may need to develop their skill sets in a particular area. So that's where I think our stackable certificates work for individuals to get additional training up front and then work on a further degree later. Well, that's great to know. It's good to know that there's so many pathways and different options that are available, and they all lead to the success of really strengthening our community together. We're very excited here at the Southfield Chamber to highlight the successes that are happening with small businesses and celebrating Small Business Week um, that's coming up, and also just to emphasize our return of what we're hoping to be the very beginning of celebrating in-person events. Um, we're looking forward to the State of the City 2021. It's our mayor address that is happening on June 23rd at Regency Manor. And we're also getting really excited to hop on the green for our annual golf outing that's taking place in July. For any information, regarding any of our upcoming events or even better ways to get connected with Davenport, you can certainly visit our website at www.southfieldchamber.com. And is there any information that you wanna share about how to get in contact with you, Susan? They could actually just go to www.davenport.edu and reach and just search Susan Sarkovsky. I am the campus executive director here at Warren and our Detroit campuses, and they can actually direct contact me so that I can actually funnel any information with our small businesses to our appropriate departments because many we have many areas that can assist not only our career services department, but uh, we have professional development and our Institute of Professional Development that can offer just uh, uh, actually structured courses that, that are outside of our regular programs.
Well, very good. Well, we're so happy to have you as a member at the Southfield Chamber of Commerce. So we thank you for our time and look forward to a continued partnership with Davenport University. Thank you so much, Jasmine. I appreciate this opportunity to share with you today. Of course.